KB Entertainment. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to get it. Like, subscribe, hit that notification button. Man, 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 it's time to talk. But before we talk, I just want to say thanks for all my supporters. Uh, we just hit a milestone. Yes, we hit a milestone today. 400. But we chased the sound big. But listen. Man, NBA 2K19. So much information. You know, I know 2K had an event. A lot of people showed up, played 2K19. Man, it's a lot of information out there. A lot of information leaked. Man, one of the things I need to address, one of the things we need to talk about, when they say all new defense, what did that mean? Like, what did that mean for 2K? Like, all new defense. Did that mean, like, we get rewarded? Like, if I'm in your face and you shoot a dumb shot, would I get rewarded? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. There were so many moments in NBA 2K18, I was so mad. Like, like five or six shots, somebody's shooting. They all go in, I'm all in their face, and it don't make no sense. Yeah, that's that's pretty trash. That's pretty trash. So if, if that's included in NBA 2K19, man, that would be great. Like, like, I would like the fact that you could still somewhat make them if you got a green light. But don't have people who make, like, six shots in a row and in a face and and it don't register you playing defense yeah that's trash so if i just see if i just see improvement in that area that was no defense is okay does that mean like because one of the one of the most trashest defense moments in the game is because you just can't stop it sometimes sometimes it, sometimes you can you sometimes you get some luck you sometimes you hit that analog and you get the steal or something or you just bump the ball or something but listen, y'all know how y'all playing 2K. A lot of people run into this. Uh, you in the post. Now, you, you're not in the post, but somebody else in the post. You on defense. And you see he in the post. He, he, he your man's guarding him. You like, okay, oh, he goes in the post. You collapse. You collapse. You didn't get a steal at all. You only way you get that steal, you push X. And look, you probably about to get a reach. You didn't get the steal. Uh, you had to bump him to get that steal. Trash. So if I see a, a big improvement right there, like something realistic, if I was in a post and one of my teammates in real life swipes at the ball, like not my teammate, but someone on the opposite side swipes at the ball, it's most likely Tanner if I don't get rid of him. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't see that more in NBA 2K19. If, if that's just... Improvement that would be way better in 2K18 because a lot of people saying that went out to the event they keep saying that 2K19 is like a 2.0 of 2K18. You know, 2K18 had its moments, like, I don't, I mean, it had a lot of trash moments, but if the game played smooth and the servers weren't trash, 2K18 would be one of the best 2Ks, but it did. But listen. The defense really, really, they really got to improve the defense. So they say they improve defense, but I don't know. We don't know. They could be just be talking. They could be just be making up some stuff. You never know. You never know with 2K. They always lying to us. But, you know, people saying they, they, they being true this year. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what that means. They being true this year. Does that mean that like, they're not going to be lying to us? Like, that, do that mean like they're gonna drop patches and actually drop patch notes? Because that's probably the most trashest thing right there. Like, literally, that's like, one of the most trashest things I've ever seen in any game. How are you gonna drop a patch note and don't have a patch note? It's pretty trash, 2K. So, in NBA 2K19, if they do that, that'd be a better game. But, suppose they say it's all new defense. Can't wait to see it. I actually can't wait for 2K19, man. 2K19, can't wait. But listen, and they said it's gonna be a new shot meter, dual shot meters. I don't know what that means, though. 
dual shot meters. Like, when I think of dual shot meters, like that term, it felt like you have the option for like releases. Like, it seemed like, oh, okay, I could have a no release or I could have a release. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Now that, now that I got me thinking, that would be kind of dope though, like when you start seeing more people to use no releases, then you start seeing people to use release. So you can have, you see certain people like, like lumbering the flick. Like me, I'm really good with releases. I always like how to time it on certain releases right. Just because I see that little bar sometimes, or sometimes I do remember that flick. But that would be cool to have that option. I don't know. One of the things, do, or do they mean, hmm, they could be talking about layups too. Because there ain't no people saying that may come back. When 2K18, it was there. It was just hidden. It was definitely there. It was definitely there in 2K18. There was a lot of moves. There was, it just didn't show a meter, but it was a release on it. A lot of floaters. The floaters had releases. Hook shots had releases. All kind of moves. Euro stuffs. Any move with the analog had releases in NBA 2K18, and you didn't see it. So that mean did we get to see it? At least, it don't gotta be a bar. Just tell you it was a, it was a good release on the layup. Like, Something I don't know. I actually liked your feature in 2K18. I'm took no, 2K17. Yeah, it was 2K17 where they had a release on the layups. I actually really liked it. That I thought it was, I thought it was something. I thought it was something dope. And, you know, I don't know. What y'all What y'all think about that? Do y'all think the layout releases be okay in the game? Like if they actually showed you and everything, well, would y'all like it or do y'all just want it to be completely away? Because I kind of don't want it to be completely away. To everybody, it's kind. I feel like it's kind of trash. So I could just push like the analog or a button not an analog but just a button and the automatic do a layup and no release like I feel like it have to be released so just because it make it more skill based I guess I don't know I don't know hmm and they said it's all new animations the course is gonna be all new animations every 2k is always always new animations one of the things they need in 2K19, or they shouldn't have this in 2K19, because if they had this in 2K19, I swear. I would literally take my controller, toss that shit right out the ground, it's over. 2K19 trash. If I see, if I see bad passing, like 2K18 and 2K19, man, I'm done. I'm like, I'm completely done. I'm talking about like, Five feet away, you overthrowing people. That don't make no sense. It really makes no sense. It, it, it is absolutely trash. Really trash. I don't know. I'll be happy with that if they improve that. And if the service get a little bit better, that would be dope. That would be dope. I mean, I like that. That would that'd make the game 10 times better than 2K18. But... One of those things in 2K18 that is annoying, a lot of people don't talk about it, but let's talk about you ain't in game. You ain't you playing NBA 2K18. You probably playing this right now. You in 2K18, you invite your friend. You invite your friend, what happens? He load, he load in the game, he don't even get in your game. Yeah, you you like, alright, I'll join your game. Join his game, you don't even get in the game. After three or four attempts, you actually in the game. Name a game and this actually happens. Because I have yet to ever witness something like this in any other game. So that, we cannot see that in 2K19. That's trash. That's absolutely trash. One of the things I do want to see in NBA 2K19, I feel like they're going to bring this back. Um, they have, they have, they have to make it. So if they bring back park or anything, or probably when you walk around, most likely it is. They gotta have it so you can change your clothes right on the spot. Like you can't, I can't like really go all the way to a locker room and then like change my play. Like that's trash. Like it, that's time. That's time consuming. Like literally, it's a loading screen. I just gotta wait. And I gotta walk into the thing. I walk over there and then it's like a little loader screen to the locker. Like knocked out. Not really a loader screen, but just a little delay. And then I'm changing my clothes. Then I go walk out. Another load of screen, but it, that, that is trash. That is trash. So we don't want to see that in 2K19. I don't want to see that in 2K19 at all. I don't want to see that. That is trash. That's not something I want to see at all. But 
I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. But what y'all think, man? What y'all think? What y'all think NBA 2K19 should add? Mm-hmm. That's, that's, a really, that's a really good question. That's tough. Hmm. But, yeah, I know what time it is. We out of here, man. All right. Before I get out of here, I just want to say thank you for all my support, man. We hit 400. Man, we chasing for something bigger, man. But, like, subscribe. Hey, hit that notification button. And it's time.